Here is a look at the airport. We expect the waiting areas and viewing areas might be busy today oh, yeah. for the Great American Eclipse this afternoon. Mm -hmm. we, should pretty get a, we should get a pretty decent show here in West Michigan, by the way. Uh, we know Scott was telling us last week things weren't looking good, but that was days ago, so hopefully things have changed for the better. Yeah, Matt has an updated look at the cloud <laughs> forecast. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, you guys. Yeah, we're looking at, we're just laser focused with this cloud forecast, and it can be very iffy any time of year, especially this time of year where we actually average on this date about 44 percent in the past 10 years so that's uh, not great but today we have an ideal forecast and really good timing because we had the clouds build in late yesterday showers moved through last night and now the showers are pivoting to the northeast taking the clouds with it here's the latest with the temperatures out there mid to upper 40s area wide and of course we have to show you those clouds still banking some low level clouds right in through here thicker clouds moving to the north and east but clearing sky is starting to build in from basically southwest all the way from the south and west to north and east and this is going to be ideal conditions I believe for us to view that eclipse today so we'll take it right through the high resolution forecast model which tends to be one of the the more pessimistic models with clouds so I want to use this now if you're south and east of Grand Rapids we'll say Battle Creek cold water Sturgis I do expect more high mid-level clouds out there but in around Grand Rapids area lots of sunshine this is uh, right around peak uh, totality for us here in southwest lower Michigan which is about uh, 92 to 94 percent and you could see Futurecast uh, basically has uh, lots of sunshine uh, out there and temperatures that's the extra bonus we're going to have about our, our warmest day that we've had certainly from the month of April nearly a month with highs up around 70 degrees it'll be a touch on the breezy side all righty brother thank you so much hey back home we'll we won't get the full effect but we'll still get to experience something spectacular we have David Horak at the Grand Rapids Public Museum this morning with how employees there will help you celebrate good morning Good morning, Teresa and Donovan. Plenty to do here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. And so what we have, who we have here, that is, we have Jack Dulesky, the planetarium manager here. So you have a busy day ahead for you and your staff. So tell me the bullet points as to what you have planned today because there's more than just the, 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 um, the time that the moon passes in front of the sun for everybody here. So, Yeah, today's the big game day over at the planetarium. We've been thinking about this day for a long time. So we're gonna have a special planetarium schedule with a, a simulation of the eclipse to kind of show people the eclipse science, what it looks like in Grand Rapids and what it looks like from outer space. Yeah, the commentary uh, that you guys are gonna be providing in the planetarium as well as in the theater is something that people take for granted in terms of knowing the extra tidbits of information as to how very, very detailed our universe works in that way, you know? Absolutely, it's this rare and awe-inspiring event and you're not going to have another chance until the 2040s. So we, we talk about the science behind that. All right, so what do you guys have going on here for anybody who wants to do more than just watch it, you know, uh, hour by hour here in the planetarium as well as uh, out, uh, out in the museum floors and what have you? Sure, we've got activities set up on the museum lobby and we're, they're all space themed and space science themed so it's a whole celebration of the sun. And it's free, right? All of the events in the museum come with admission. We have solar telescopes out on the Blue Bridge, and that is free. All right. And then uh, what is something that uh, has made you the most excited, aside from the eclipse and preparing for this and, you know, you and your staff and getting ready for this? Like <laughs> the, the weather forecast. It's been, uh, I, I can't control that, and we've been checking it every hour, and things are looking great. It doesn't get better than this in West Michigan. Absolutely. Matt, appreciate you on that note. Anyway, there's also plenty of solar eclipse glasses available here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. A certain TV station is on there is on there as well if you want to sport us a little bit. But anyway, these are $1.75 a pop. They are available. Some stores may have sold out, so this is also where you can get yours that are safe for you to use and make sure you have these on at all times during the eclipse. Back here in a half hour to give you more details for here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum if this is where you want to check out the eclipse. In the meantime, Back to you, Teresa and Donovan. All right. Very, thank you very much, David. And if you haven't been able to get your hands on some of those glasses or you don't have time to today, you can always watch on your screen. Yeah. Our meteorologist, Blake Harms, will join Phil Podarski at the live desk today for a digital eclipse viewing. That will start at 2.30 this afternoon.